Welcome to Perfect Vocals Academy, a source that offers weekly content for audio engineers and recording artists. On this channel, I give you cutting edge vocal mixing and mastering videos. I also offer an online course called the Vocal Mixing Masterclass. You can find the link to this in the description and it's over nine hours of videos going from start to finish to really help you become a better audio engineer. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Hey guys, John here from the Perfect Vocals Academy. This next video is gonna be about Loop Cloud. Perfect Vocals Academy has just partnered up with Loop Cloud. If you're interested in Loop Cloud after I show you this plugin, hit the link in the description and definitely sign up through our affiliate link. I wanna make a beat, I'm just toying around with this. This is the first time I've ever used Loop Cloud. So Loop Cloud is basically a huge sound library for making beat productions. So basically you're able to audition different loops. It's all loop based. There are like one shots as well if you wanna just have like one shot and do your own like beat pattern with it. But they also give you a certain amount of points and then each sound that you like costs like a few points. It's pretty cool. I already started and in like 15 minutes I already have a pretty cool foundation and we're just going to keep going at it. So apparently there's 4 million sounds, over 4 million sounds inside of Loop Cloud. So there's no shortage of sounds. And as you can see, it's very easy to find sounds. You could uh, you can go by genre, you can go by collections, instruments, So that's what we got so far. I found this uh, acoustic loop. Then I brought in uh, a kick and a rim. Yeah, nothing crazy yet, but it's definitely a, a nice foundation we got going on. So how this works is you audition things in here. And then once you like something, you use some of your points and then you can just drag and drop the audio right in to Pro Tools or whatever program you're using. Let's look for some uh, sub bass. So... Go to bass, can click sub, and then we want to make sure key lock is on. The other loops, I, or the other, the guitar loop, I did at the key of A, so you want to make sure key lock is on, and then sync should be lit up as well. Sync basically changes the tempo of whatever loop is and conforms it to the tempo in your system of the song. Could be hard for sub bass to find a loop that that works with the chords of the acoustic. Sub bass might not be the best example, but we can always melodyne it if I can find one that works. Could also go to. genres to help us find it.
Yeah, I think in this situation you'd want to get a one shot like this and then drag it in and then we can paste around our own pattern and then I can melodyne it to fit. So we're going to buy this. And then you see there, drag it right in. That simple. Now we can X that out. And we'll just paste it where the kicks are. Oh, kicks are up here. Label this sub. Okay, so as you could see, it's not the right notes yet, but we got... a nice consistent sub. Now we're going to go to Melodyne. Hit Transfer. And then play it in. Okay. So it's going to start on the note A. Okay, and then we can also throw some auto-tune on it. Put that on bass instrument, put that on A major, turn the retune speed down a little bit. And yeah, we can print that. So now what we do is in, uh, in Pro Tools hold control, commit, make an active. I think the chords changed on that half of the loop. Okay, so since the chords changed, we got to pitch shift that up. So I'm going to bring out Sound Shifter. Okay, so I had to go up with it three semitones. I just did that by ear. I could have got out my keyboard, but. Okay, so now that can be repeated since it has two different endings with the loop and the guitar. Okay, let's add something over top of that that is kind of ambient and cool.
So let's go with synth. Uh, let's see. Let's go pop. Pop synth. Let's try pad, put pad up there, pad with pop. Let's actually try vocals, see if they got any cool vocals. <laughs> Gonna try to stay away from lyrics, just something that sounds like a vocal but no lyrics. Let's go back to pop because when you don't specify the genre, it's a little, a little too broad. Maybe go female. That's my night. That's my night. Take me away in the red car. I wanna feel free. You and me in the speed of. So there is nothing to th let go. Let go. Could try to add something like that. That could be cool. Let's buy that. Okay, I'm going to find a cool placement for it. I think at the end of the phrase would be nice. And then we're going to drown it out with reverb. This is the JST Skybox. I like the blood setting. Turn up the mix some, it makes a crazy reverb. Get the timing better. Try to do a bend on that. It's kind of cool. 
cool. So that's something, something pretty cool. Okay. Let's find... I think we need some keys. Obviously this I'd say loop cloud is way better for your like your backbone which is like what I started with with the acoustic and s some main drum loops it, it will be hard to find a loop that goes with what you already have here so I wouldn't say loop clouds the best for um finding things that stack but I do believe it does have a feature. I don't know if it's in the plugin. It might be just in the standalone app where it finds sounds for you uh, that goes with what you already have. So maybe I'll do another video on that if, uh, if I can figure that out because I'm very new to the platform. So we're looking for something just simple. Something like that with uh, different chords. I could take that into Melodyne and uh, change those chords if I wanted to, but it's doing a little too, uh, more work than I would want to. Let's go with adding some more drums and percussion and stuff because that isn't going to affect anything really as far as keys and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. If you hit play uh, with your, you know, in Pro Tools and click play at the same time, you can kind of audition it uh, without buying it first. So 
so I don't have to buy that, drag it in, and then decide I don't like it. So. That's pretty cool. doesn't hurt. Let's put it in there. Okay, let's let's find some fills. Let's go to drum drum fill. be a cool fill I like that so we're gonna grab that Okay, now we just need something that kind of connects those fills together. I, I kind of like where that's going, though, so... Let's get... Drums... Try something like that. Yeah, I think.
think something like that could work. It helps not to be too picky because sometimes it's just a matter of bringing it in and playing with the sound a little bit, turning it up, turning it down, EQing it. Yeah, we're really filling it out now. Okay, we just need something to put in those little gaps, and I think we're good with this whole loop here. Let's see what else we got. actually pretty cool and kind of what I was looking for so we're gonna go with that and have that going the whole time I'm gonna call this open hats oh this is cool okay Yeah, and if that seems a little too airy up top, I could always throw a little filter on that. That makes it more ambient, more like an ambient sound. Just something to fill it out, because it, it just seemed like it needed something to glue, glue it together. And that's what production is a lot of the times, is finding just sounds that aren't very dominant, that just kind of fill the emptiness. That's it, guys. So, obviously, you can do anything from here. You can make the next part with less sounds going on to make it like a verse and then build it back up to this like a hook again and everything else you can just do however you'd like but if you like this program loop cloud sign up i believe it's really cheap i forget how much monthly but it's just a monthly subscription and if you sign up through the link in the description it helps out perfect vocals academy since we are an affiliate and then also you could also check out Loop Masters. They sell, it's basically the same company as this, and they sell packs, like Loop Packs. And also Plugin Boutique is also their company, so you can buy plugins and all sorts of fun stuff there too. So thanks, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this music production sort of content that I know I don't usually do. So you will see more of this in weeks to come.